Hi guys, it's Sean. Okay, and now I am out of literally any joke that is possible in this world. Well, games. Anyways, this is the 143rd tier house, and I've changed the app editing to Kini Master. So, it's like much better because I don't have to hold the record button. So anyways, enjoy the book. Chapter 3. Are we there yet? Are we there yet? Says Terry. Are you kidding? I see. We only just left. Look, we haven't passed Edward Scooperhand's ice cream parlor yet. Can we stop and get ice cream? Says Terry. I really want ice cream. So do I, I see. But I want a holiday more. And... You'll get one, says Terry, right after we serve stuff for an ice cream. Besides, holiday's not a holiday without, without ice cream. What is the page? Ice cream. Definition, what are the Edward Scoop words sells? Yeah, there's no holiday without ice cream. Terry's right, of course. We stop and go inside. I choose a chakbana, a new bicycle. Flying monkey combo. But Terry, as usual, is having trouble deciding. Hmm, I say. Wait, he says. We got a long drive ahead of us, so I think I have the one with the lot, please, Edward. A long drive, says Edward. What are you after? We're going on a camping holiday, says Terry. A holiday, says Edward. Wow, I haven't had a holiday since, um, actually, I don't really think I've ever had a holiday. Why didn't you come with us, says Terry. I'd love to, says Edward, but if I go on holiday, who will run the ice cream parlor? Nobody, says Terry, but it won't matter, because Andy and I won't be there. Then I accept, says Edward. I'll just grab any portable ice cream vendor tray and be right there, right with you. Edward jumps into the back of the back seat, and we take off again. I was hoping it would just be Terry and me, but Edward's in good, good company, and he does have a portable ice cream tray, so I rolled up mine. We drive for a few minutes. Are we there yet, sister? No, I say. We're just passing Mary. We're, ju- we're only passing Mary Lollipop's lollipop shop. Can we stop and get lollipop? A lollipop, says Terry. I don't think that's a good idea, I say. We'll never get to camping ground if we keep stopping every five minutes. I don't want to stop every five minutes. Says Terry, I just want to stop and get a lollipop. Me too, says Edward, and Mary is such a nice lollipop serving robot. Oh, alright then, I say, but this is definitely the last stop. Word of the page, lollipop. Definition, what Mary lollipop sells. Yeah, it's literally... Stopping every five minutes, you know. We get out of we get out and choose lollipops. I get fruitistic one. I get a fruitistic one that has flashing lights, and Terry gets a cactus lollipop with spikes over it. And Edward gets what else? An ice cream favorite lollipop. Robots can eat things except nuts and bolts. Wait. Eat things besides nuts and bolts. I don't know. It's got spikes. Then how are you going to eat it? That's not even a lollipop. It's not, like, literally circle shape it's like literally cactus shaped like a plant 
Is this I is ice cream even a flavor? Says Dairy. It certainly is, says Mary. And what have been one of the nicest? What are you up to today? We're going on a camping holiday, says Dairy. Oh, how wonderful, says Mary. I haven't been on a holiday holiday since. Um, actually, I don't think I've ever been a been on a holiday. I've never, I've never been on a holiday either," says Edward. "Says Edward, why do you come with us?" "I'd love to," says Mary. "But who will look after the lollipop shop when I'm gone?" "Tongue stuck." "Nobody," says Edward. "Because, but it won't matter because Andrew and Terry will be on a holiday too." "In that case," says says Mary, "I'll come." I'll just get my portable lollipop vendor tree and be right there with you. We go back to the truck, but Terry has packed so much stuff that there's not enough room for Mary and her lollipop tree. Oh, she sighs. I won't be able to come after all. Yes, you will," says Terry. "I packed a spare trailer. Trailer, you can ride in that." And I'll join you," says Edward. A trailer ride sounds fun. So Harry hit, Terry hitches the trailer to the back of the truck, and Mary and Edward get in. Then we set off again, and so stop until we get there. Well, I mean, don't stop. When I say don't stop until we get there, I mean we don't stop except to pick up the truckinator, boxing glove. What is the page? Trunk clean, trunk nader. Definition: A boxing elephant. The kind scarecrow. Three wise owls. Pinchy McPee. Fun gate. Billing. Duck soup. Yeah, that guy says weird things like anyone else. Fancy fush. Horse feathers. Plug. Soda fountain. The word of the page: fancy. Definition: fancy fish's first name. A lot of f's and a whole bunch of noisy penguins. Stupid penguins! Can't catch me. I've always wondered how can a animal talk? Hey, gorilla! I didn't know gorilla weighed eggs. Nor did I. Blah, blah, blah. Now they're just saying nonsense. I'm sorry, Andy, but I drew a trunk key with an extra leg. Wait, what? I'm a horse, and you're not. We know that. No. On the road again. I love banjo music. That's it. I say to Terry. If we keep stopping, we'll never get there. Look, that Lulu's flying. Whack. You're right, Andy. Says Terry. No more stopping. No more stopping. Hey, look up ahead. Look up ahead. Hitchhikers. Which is stop and give them a ride. What is page? Hitchhiker. Definition: A hacker who hitches. I don't know what hitches is. No way! I say, looking at the two people waiting by my side on the of the branch up ahead. We we already have too many passengers, but they're hitchhikers, says Terry. How will they get to where they're going if we don't give them a lift? All right, I say we can stop, but this is absolutely the very last time. Well, I think we pull up next to a man holding a camera and a woman holding a notebook. Hi,、right, says Terry. What are you after? The camping grub, says the man. Says the man. We're going on a camping holiday. 
What a coincidence, says Terry. So are we. My name is Terry, and this is Andy. Pineapple. Got me old banjo. Stop playing that thing. Just the people we are hoping to meet," says the woman. "I wonder, right a lot. This is Jimmy Snapshot. We go from Go Away magazine, and we've come to do a story on you. Smile," says Jimmy Snapshot, pointing his camera at us. Click. What is beige? Click. Definition. The sound that Jimmy Snapshot's camera makes. But how did they get names like that? Like Ride a Lot and Snapshot. Chapter Four: Pins, Pexes, and Pepper Grinders. A lot of peas. Are we there yet? Asks Terry for the fifty thousandth time. Really? Just as we arrive at the country, we sure are. I say, getting out and taking a deep breath. Smell that for sure. Click. Jimmy takes a photo of us breathing fresh air. Do you like fresh air? Asks Honda. With her pen po po poised. Right above her, above her book. Of course, I say. Doesn't everybody? Word of page. Photo. Definition: the thing that, the thing that Jimmy Snapshot's camera takes. I'm the one doing the interview, so I'll ask some questions if you don't mind. Okay, I say. Although I do mind. She's been asking questions and writing in her notebook the whole way here. Edward and Mary climb out of the chair. Oh, it's lovely! I say, looking," said Mary, looking around. "What's that big shiny watery thing? That's a lake," I say. "Oh, it's lovely," says Mary. "Is it lovely, Edward?" "Yes, it is." "Yes, it is." He agrees. He agrees. But he is not even. But he's not even looking at the lake. He's doing a merry. What exactly happens on a camping holiday? Says Fancy Fresh. I can't see a luxury hotel anywhere. Word of the page: Lake. Definition: A big shiny watery thing, smaller than a sea, bigger than a. I don't know what it's called. I forgot. Oh, it's swamp. That's because there is one. I explain. Camping holidays are all about putting your own shelter, doing your own cooking, and making your own fun. Everything. But, 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 we didn't putting any of of that stuff," says Vinci. "You didn't tell us to." Don't worry, I say. We, you can share ours. Terry has packed everything we need. Yes, says Terry. It's all right here. That, and you flip the page, and something goes horribly wrong. Okay, I say. First thing first. Let's get the tent set up. Tent, says Terry. Yes, the tent. You did pack it, didn't you? No, says Terry. But I specifically asked if you packed your tent. I say. Oh, sister, I thought you said, "Have you tacked your pant?" But that doesn't make any sense. I say, I know, sister. That's what I thought. I packed one of these and said, "What is the page tent definition?" What Terry heard when Andy said tent. He pulls a big, really big pepper grinder out of. Out of back of the truck. Hey, Pepper. Well, 
Terry says proudly, giving the grinder a few turns. Pepper goes everywhere in a great black cloud. What do you think? I got it from the super big stuff. Sorry. Great, I see. But it's not a tent, isn't it? No, but it rhymes with tent. It does not, I say. It's a pepper grinder. Pepper grinder doesn't rhyme with tent. It does. If you use your imagination, insists Terry. No, it doesn't. Uh oh. Uh oh. Says it would. The pepper has gotten on the truck known as truck. I think I've got a flav. What is beige? Pepper. Definition a good drain of salt. Yes it is. Truck later unfolds the biggest hand hand sheriff kerchief we've ever seen and holds it up this trunk. We brace ourselves and for the blast. Ah! But nothing happens. It's okay, says Terry. False alarm. That's a relief. Hey, Junkie, they say. If you're not gonna, going to use that hand handkerchief, can we borrow it? The truck leader shrugs and hands it over. Thanks, I say. Everybody go a corner. Stretch it out and hold, the, hold it up as high as you can. Terry, you put the giant pepper candle in the middle. It will make a perfect century pole. Ordered page. False. Definition. The opposite of true. Mary pegs the corners and slides up the and slides up the hand hand handkerchief into the ground with the lollipop sticks and we soon have a tent that's big enough to hold everybody. Great work team, I think. Making up what with what you have is what camping is all about. Okay, now we, all we need to do is chop some wood and make a fire. Can you give me the axe, Terry? Axe? Says Terry. You did pack it, didn't you? Um... No, you didn't tell me to. Yes, I did, I say. I specifically said you packed an a axe. Oh, says Terry, striking his forehead. I thought you said... I thought you said, have you acted the packs? Of course I did. I said... Did you really say that? Did you really say? It? Did you really say that? Asks Wanda. No, I shall because there's no just thing as a pax. Yes, there is, says Terry, producing the axe. I have one right here. <coughs> what a page. Axe. Definition: What Andy asked her to pack. That's not a pack, I say. It's an axe. No, says Terry. It's a pack. Axe. Pax. Axe. Pax. <laughs> all right, all right, I say. Just give me the pack, sax, whatever. Just hand it over and stand clear. What a page. Pax. Definition. Terry's word of axe. How do you come, how come you always get to chop the wood, says Terry. Because I'm better at it than, it than, it than you, I say. That's because you never let me have a go, says Terry. How can I be, how can I get better if you never let me practice? That's a very good question, says Wanda. If I would just ask about, if... I was just about to ask it myself. You're quite bossy, Andy, aren't you? I'm not bossy, I see. I just want any, don't, I just don't want any accidents. But fine, you can chop the wood, Terry. Just be careful. Click. 
Thanks, Andy, says Terry. You can count on me. Can I, can you hold the wood still for me? Sure, sure, I say. What is page? Bussy. Definition, Andy. Terry sings Miss Wood and the axe splits me right down in the middle. Down the middle. Ouch, says my right half. Now look at what you've done. There's two of me. You mean two of us, says my left hat. Says my left hat. Half. How did he survive? Smile, Andy, says Jimmy. Click. How does it feel to be split in half with an axe? Says Wanda. How do you think? We say. I'll ask the questions, remember? Says Wanda. Sorry, we say. We forgot. I'm sorry too, Andy. I'm sorry too, Andy. Says Terry. I mean, Andy's. What is page? Andy's. Definition, more than one Andy. Never mind, we say. Passes the first day kit. I didn't pack a f the first day kit. Says Terry. But I did pack this giant stapler from the... One, two, three, super big stuff. Quick, 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 quick. Well, we have. To, well, we guess that we'll have to do. We say. It. This won't hurt a bit, said Terry. Then I stapled me together again. Staple, clack. Skirt, grinch, quack, click, 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 I don't know if you have it been chopped in hand and stapled together again, but if you have, I'm sure you agree that it hurts a lot. What is the page? Hurt. Definition: the feeling of being stapled together. Finally, my two halves are one again. There you go, Andy. Says Terry. That's good as new. Click, click, click. I'm feeling surprisingly good, actually. Apart from being quite, quite hungry, turns out I'm not the only one. Excuse me, Andy, says Nikon Skirtko. I'm starving. Is there anything to eat? Of course there is, I say. I asked like, Terry to pack lots of food. Food, says Terry. Yes, you did pack it, didn't you, I say. Yes, says Terry, looking uncertain. Really? I say. No, says Terry. Are you kidding me? I say. I don't believe it. Thanks, good. Thank goodness Edward and Mary bought their ice cream lollipop vendor trays. What is the page? Food. Definition. You know, food. I'm sorry, Andy, says Edward, but there are no ice creams or lollipops left. They were all eaten on the way here. Well, that's great, I say. Just great. Relax, Andy, says Terry. How can I relax when there's nothing to eat? If you get hungry, you get cranky. I shall. Don't worry, says Terry. I packed fishing rods and a boat. We can go fishing and catch our dinner. Actually, that's a pretty good idea, I say. After all, fishing is... Night, a nice relaxing activity. Unless you're a fish, says the says fancy fish. The word is ordered page. Fishing. Definition. A relaxing activity unless you're a fish. Chapter 5. Row, row, row your boat. Half an hour later, Terry and I are on, the, are on a boat in the middle of the lake fishing. Sure, it's relaxing, but it's not quite as real relaxing as I hoped, because everybody else is on the boat, too. We are packed in like start. We are packed in like sardines, which is kind of funny, really, because sardines are what we're using for bait. What is page? Sardines. 
split definition. Little fish with a strong sardine smell. There is nothing especially funny or very relaxing about fishing in a boat built for two with an ex inquisitive reporter and a snappy happy photographer to enthusiastic robots and enormous boxing elephant and can't get to go three bunch of oversized penguins jumping around oh wait three talkative owls a pinch of crab, a fancy fish, and a bunch of overcrowded, overexcited penguins jumping around and playing badminton and trying to steal our bait. We're all squashed together so tightly there's rarely room to cast our lines in. To make matters worse, the boat is so low in the water that it feels like we can sit at any moment. Trumpets the trumpeter, and he blasts a fountain of water into the air for the penguins to play in. Do that again, says Jimmy, snapping away. The trumpeter doesn't need any encouragement. <laughs> the penguins fly even higher this time. I thought this was supposed to be a luxury cruise, says Ben. Says Ben Jeffries. Not a floating water park. All the cheer up, fancy old stick in the mud, says Benji, clacking his pinches together in Fancy Fish's face. We're supposed to have a holiday, and holidays are supposed to be fun. Smile, says Jimmy. Click. What a day. Definition, the soundtrack made a mate. Despite the crowd of fashions, everybody, a perfect fancy fish that is, it seems to having, everybody seems to having a good time, especially Edward and Mary who are how happy they sit starting a song together. Yeah, I'm actually not seeing that. Yeah, like, no, really. Uh, I'm just gonna read that. Roll, roll, roll your boat gently on the lake. Don't forget to think not only really big. Chess cake! Tractor tire! Boop, boop! That guy's crazy, you know. Chess cake! Sounds one of the Three wise out. Do you like cheesecake? Says Wanda. Tractor tire! Says the second owl. I see, says Wanda, loading it down. Tractor tire cheesecake. That's very interesting. Anything else? Anything you like for Poof, poof! Says the third wise out. They're out of page. Cheesecake. Definition What cheesecakes are made of? Yes, that is absolutely not true. With the noise of trunk banders trumpeting the excited chirps and squeals from the penguins of the penguins, the clacking of pinches papers, the shouting of white elves, the quick of junior camera, everyone in marriage robotic singing, on and one of endless questions, I don't think there's much chance. I don't think there much chance of us catching any fish. But then I feel something on the end of my life. Something tugging. Something big. I think I've got something. I shall hold it, says Jimmy. Click. What do you think it is? Says Wanda. And her, her pen at the reading. I don't know, I say, but it's sure is strong. Do you like fishing? What's your biggest fish you ever caught? Has there a fish? Has a fish cut you? Order the page pen. Definition: A good thing to write a whole bunch of notes with. I don't have time to answer on this question because whatever on the end of the line is pulling really hard. In fact, it's pulling so hard it starts dragging the boat through the water. 
Hold on tight, everybody. I say, looks like we're going for a ride. Yay, says the ter says Terry. As we zoom all over the lake, this is the best holiday ever. The boat gradually slows down. Whatever, whatever pulling us must be getting tired. I start reeling in. There's a shark shake just below the surface of the water. It's a shark! It's a shark! Says Edward. It's not a shark. Says Mary. Says Mary. It's a bird. Burnip. Not a shark or a burnip. Says Mary. It's a big burnip shark. What is what it? Burnip shark. Definition. A burnip and a shark combo. I give one big, last big tug, and comes flying up the water and land on the deck of the boat with a big splash. Everybody guess. Then unguess as you realize what it is. It's not a shark, or a burn nip, or a burn shark. What is page? Ungasp. Definition, a cancel gasp. Guess. It's a boot. A soggy old boot. Quick, quick, relax, everybody, says Jay. It's like a soggy old boat. Thank, thank goodness, says, says the kind of scarecrow. Soggy boot, old boots on, dangerous. Not normally, I say, as I notice water pouring over the side of the boat, fooling around their legs, but this one might be. It's an extra bit of weight we definitely do not need. Uh-oh. As I fear, the boat is sinking. Sorry, madam! What a page. Sinking. Definition. Something you don't want to boat doing. In lower. In lower. And lower! And lower. And lower. Until it's completely sunk and we're just floating in, in the water. Well, I guess this is the end of our fishing trip, I say. <clears throat> Seems that way, says Terry. But look at the bright side. Swimming is very relaxing. Especially when you're a fish, says Fancy Fish. But not when you're a crab, almost pinchy. What a page? Swimming. Definition, a relaxing pastime unless you're a crab. Chapter 6 Campfire Fun We all swim to the edge of the lake and make it back onto land. Even the old boot. Luckily, I picked my waterproof camera, says Jimmy, pointing at the book. Pointing it at the book. Click! And I'm glad I brought my waterproof notebook, says Wanda. She crouches beside the boot and starts asking it questions. How long have you been a boot? Who was your owner? Do you like being a boot? Do you like swimming? How long have you been in a lake? What are the page? Boot. Definition, a boot shape too. Hey Andy, sister. Look, Wanda is trying to interview the book. Boot. Wanda is such a great interviewer that she can inform out anything, says Jimmy. Animal, mineral, vegetable, or in this case, footwear. Nah. Please be quiet, says Wanda. I'm trying to conduct, conduct the interview. Sorry, I whisper. Wait. Sorry, I whisper. Come on, everybody. Let's leave Wanda and the boot in peace and go make a fire to dry ourselves and warm up. I use the packs to chop some wood and build a fire. But I'll spill my spooning myself or anybody else. Enough. So soon we're all sitting around a blazing campfire. We are warmer than we are, but still hungry. Can you eat soggy old boots? said the kind theater girl. Well I guess you could, said I say, but I just want to see why you, why you want to. Can you eat fire? says Terry. Fire it can, but it's dangerous. Remember the time a child did it? Oh yeah, says Terry. My tongue was on fire for weeks. Weeks. Horse at the place! 
main thing campfires are good for, I say, apart from words, is toasting marshmallows. Did you bring the marshmallow machine? Says Benji. Another thing Terry forgot to pack, I say. You didn't ask me to pack it, says Terry. Yes, I did. I say, no, you didn't. Yes, I can finish my sentence because a marshmallow has landed on my in my mouth. The marshmallow machine is hovering right in front of me. The word of the page. The word of the page. Marshmallow. Definition. A little pillow made of sugar. Looks like the marshmallow ma machine came anyway, says Terry. Guess I need a holiday too. Pew, 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 pew. Marshmallows everywhere. A stick. Stick the dispenser pops out, and the marshmallow of the marshmallow machine, and soon or we're all happily toasting, toasting marshmallows, even your boot. The shore beach toasting marshmallows in our volcano, says Terry. Totally, I say. Remember the time it erupted all over us? <laughs> Kaboom. Yeah, says Terry. That was funny. That was it, I say. We all we got covered in super hot lava. Oh yeah, says Terry. Not funny. What did the page? Volcano. Definition? A not so good place to toast marshmallows. We toast marshmallows until everybody had their had their fill. And then we all settle back contently and look up the scars. This is turning out to be a pretty good holiday after all. Uh, I had too many marshmallows. Is that Earth? The stars are so clear out there, says Terry. I can see the Big Dipper. I can see a big lollipop, says Mary. I can see a big mess. What is page? Stars. Definition. Little twinkly, twi twinkle, twinkling... Things in the sky. I can see a big ice cream go, says Edward. I see a big ice cream bat. Ice cream grow bat. And I can see a big scarecrow, says the kind scarecrow. You're a big scarecrow. Quays jacks, says the first wise owl. Corkscrew, says the second owl. Cor what are the page? Cork screw. Definition is screw made out of cork. Big nose! Says the third. I can see a big dum dum, I say, pointing at Terry. I can see an even bigger dum dum, says Terry, pointing at me. Okay, that's enough enough stargazing for a night. I say, let's do spooky campfire stories. And said, I love spooky campfire stories, says Terry. Can I start? I've got a really spooky one. What is the page? Spooky. Definition, creepy, mysterious, ooky. We all settle in. Terry shines the torch up underneath his chin to give his face that spooky. There's a torch under my chin look and starts the story. My spooky. Spooky story is about a witch and a big, fat, hairy spider in a full moon with a dark cloud passing across it. There is also a vampire for me. He's on my kitten. What is page? Vampire. Definition. Blood-sucking creature out of the night. Of the night. Hunt a haunted peanut butter sandwich and a mysterious floating head. Four, two, five, six. A screaming caterpillar that just screams and screams and screams and screams and when you ask it to stop. It it just keeps screaming and 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 screaming
What a debate. Sandwich. Definition. What a sandwich making lot. Machine makes. Terry, I say, is there any chance you could stop telling us about the story and start telling us the actual story? And that is the end of 143 Story Treehouse. I hope you enjoyed it. Goodbye.